oh, we're going to do a video showing from scripture that the Christmas trees, the Christmas custom of putting up Christmas trees and putting presents under the tree actually is rooted in idolatry and occultic practice. Okay, when the Israelites were getting heathen and pagan, because here's the thing, the main verse people like to go to to prove that Christmas trees are heathen custom is Jeremiah chapter 10, which, you know, amen, that definitely does uh, lay out the practice of cutting down a tree and decorating it as a heathen practice. But there are actually many other verses because that often, because there's a rebuttal, there's a uh, certain internet pastor over in the uh, state of Maine who uh, likes it, who twisted Jeremiah seven or uh, try Jeremiah ten to try to make it seem like oh it's about carving an idol, and what this uh, internet uh, internet pastor over in the uh, state of Maine doesn't realize is that that it's not just Jeremiah ten there are plenty of other verses that condemn the practice of putting up a tree or putting things under the tree. See, it's not just decorating it when you're putting presents under a tree. It's actually linked to idolatry because. I'll just, you know, say, I'll just put it out there. These verses show that they're putting idols under the tree. No difference. You know, you may say, well, I'm not doing it for that reason. That's great. But you see the internet, the internet pastor from uh, Maine, also the internet pastor from Arizona too. Uh, what they would like to do is they like to twist that verse to try to make it seem like that's somehow the only verse that talks about that even alludes to Christmas trees. But there are plenty of others. And this is just showing the fact that the Christmas trees are occultic and idolatrous in their origins. So let's get right into the verses. First, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verses 2 to 3. says, Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains and upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break down their and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Notice that under every green tree, we're going to see that as a consistent theme in these verses. First Kings fourteen verse twenty two down to verse twenty three. And Judah did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins, which they had committed above all that their fathers had done. For they also built them high places and images and groves on every high hill and under every green tree. Second Kings 16 verse 3 to 4. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, yea, and made his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places, and on the hills, and under every green tree. Second Kings 17 verse 9 to 11. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right that were not right against the Lord their God. And they built them, and they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. Oh, but Christmas trees are not. We're not see, we're not putting idols. We're putting presents. It's still the same. It's still the same practice, just repackaged by Satan. See, anyone who tries to say that some because of what what these guys do is they rightfully condemn Halloween, but they try to make it seem like Christmas is somehow okay because well it's got a Christian you know it's a Christian holiday. You're kind of ignorant of how Satan operates. Uh, Satan is very subtle. Okay, uh, if anything, Christmas is actually more satanic than Halloween because it's a it's a much better deception and it's got it's more successfully got God's saints deceived and fooled. I could go on more about that, but continuing on with the verses. Second Chronicles 28, verse 3 to 4. Moreover, he burnt incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burnt his children in the fire after the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. He sacrificed also and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. Not looking too good for your Christmas idols there, you know, the, uh, the internet pastor from Maine and also Arizona. Uh, those those all, those who watch me all, all you know those who watch my videos know who I'm referring to just to point that out. Uh, Isaiah 57 verse 4 to 5. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are you not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood, inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks? 
Uh, yeah, uh, inf inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree. Yeah, that's what the Roman Catholics do with their Christmas idols. See, it's funny how one of the internet pastor from Maine uh, is, you know, rightfully condemns Roman Catholicism and exposes it and is, you know, saying he's an enemy of, enemy of Rome and he wants to separate from everything Roman Catholic, which, you know, amen, amen to that, but then he defends Christmas, you know? He defends Christmas. I mean, Christmas is Roman Catholic. Covered that, covered that in other videos. So that he's a, supposedly a huge enemy of Rome, but then he's going to defend one of the Roman Catholic, you know, one of the biggest high days in Roman Catholicism. Yeah, interesting. Interesting about that. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 1 to 2. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with a point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Willis, their children, remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. Uh, Ezekiel 6 verse 13, then shall you know that I am the Lord, well, when their slain men shall be among their idols, round about their altars, upon every high hill, in the tops of all, of, sorry, in all the tops of the mountains, and under every green tree, and under every thick oak, the place where they did sweet, uh, offer a sweet savior to all their idols. Yeah, so you see, it's not just Jeremiah chapter 10. We have all these other verses that talk about the, the practice of putting idols under a green tree and you're gonna say well christmas presents are not idols uh i kind of beg to differ because you're getting your see why do you love christmas so much because you're getting something okay why do you love christmas because you're getting a present uh isn't that kind of borderline making that present almost an idol you know i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying that's what you're you know imagining it as but if you're if you, because a lot of a lot of times the, the, the defenses of christmas are all just emotionally based oh it makes me feel good i get a lot of presents so does that mean the present is kind of becoming an idol as in you don't want to give up this heathen custom because, well, it makes you feel good. No different than putting idols under every green tree, plain and simple. Christmas, uh, the Christmas tree practice is totally idolatrous in origin. And yeah, it doesn't say the word Christmas tree just like it doesn't say the word Halloween in the verses that condemn witchcraft. But the concept there is condemned. Same thing in Jeremiah chapter 10. And by the way, too, I'd like, I'd like to ask the uh, internet pastor from Maine and also the one from Arizona. Uh, how do you how do you come to the conclusion that Jeremiah 10 is talking about making a carved statue? That's not implied anywhere in the text. But you see, they have to do anything they can to defend their custom that makes them feel good. Their Roman Catholic custom. So I wanted to point that out. Christmas trees are idolatrous and occultic in origin and heathen practice, and they should not they they should not be uh, engaged. This practice should not be engaged by God's saints. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.